Thank you for coming. Welcome to Late Night. Oh, I can hear it back and forth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like we're in a cave or something. Oh, oh. All right, let's get into some jokes. What do you say? So, last week, in a recent article, uh, the Mass Magazine surveyed PLU students on what they were addicted to. Answers included things like cross-stitching, drawing, video games, and Tetris. What? That is not what college students are addicted to. That is what you tell your parents when you go home and they ask you what you've been up to. Oh, you know, I've been doing some you know, drawing, drawing, Tetris, cross-stitching, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> UW has been doing well this year. Any UW fans in here? Any yes. UW fans? Yeah. <laughs> go Huskies, right? Yeah, they get, they get the W. There's a really avid Huskies fan in the audience. <laughs> There's one of them. Yeah, the Huskies get to put up the W and they win, right? And the Lutes, well, you know, when we win, we... <laughs> UW recently euthanized 6,000 African clawed frogs from their labs because they became infected with the virus, which made me really sad because I actually own an African clawed frog. And when I read the article, I, I noticed that the Tacoma News Tribune put the wrong species of frog on their article. Uh, See, so this is the picture of the frog they have here. All right. And then this is the picture of my frog, Sparkle. Yeah. She's, uh, she actually turned 13 this September. She's 13 years old. I'm a proud frog daddy. Uh, <laughs> I, I got her in second grade, and now she's 13, which means that I need to start thinking about college. But I think we know where not to send her. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> According to the Tacoma News Tribune, now this is a real story, a Puyallup lawmaker is putting on a marimba concert to pay the fees she occurred from 44 ethics violations. She's playing, yeah, she's playing 44 minutes of marimba music to raise money for her fees because nothing gets forgiveness from an ethics violation like a white woman playing African music. <laughs> The board then told her that it is generally unethical to charge community members more than $50. So how much did she charge? $49.50, woo! That close to have an ethics violation. She was almost a bad person. <laughs> three of the largest pumpkins in history came from the South Sound this year, three of them. The largest one weighing in at over 2,000 pounds. That is a ton. That is a, that is a whole ton. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And that pumpkin broke the North American record. So the grower received $7 per pound. That is $16,000 for the grower. I guess we know why Linus from Charlie Brown is looking for the great pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, the kid was trying to turn, he needed a new blanket. You know, it was getting old from all the episodes. People have started to marry themselves. Uh, a woman from Italy married herself, starting a new trend. The dress for the wedding cost $12,000. There was a three-tier cake and 70 guests. And that's a lot of money to spend, especially since, statistically speaking, there's a 50% chance she'll get a divorce. <laughs> uh, you think going to school with your ex is bad? Oh, try being the same person as him. <laughs> so Thor Ragnarok premiered today. It came out tonight. Any Thor fans in here? Do we have any Thor fans? Yeah, we do. So re early reports of the movie are calling it a buddy cop duo between Thor and the Hulk. While we're excited for the movie, we are a little worried that maybe you might bring up some memories of our old buddy duo, Tom and Patty Christ. Aww. Yeah, I know, I know. But uh, for those of you who don't know, the Christes were our Lord and Saviors. And you know, <laughs> yeah. the, the new president, Alan Belton, well, he's cool, I guess. But he is an accountant, so you know. <laughs> If I get audited after the show, we'll know why. We'll know what happened. It was the president. <laughs> One person is a really big, really hates uh, the, the uh, accountants. That's the word I was looking for, hates the accountants. So since it is the anniversary of Trump's election, uh, we are going to spend a little bit of time with our commander in chief. Yes, we're all very excited, very excited. Uh, we're going to see what's up with Trump. So recently, Trump offered $400,000 to his staff for the legal fees surrounding the Russians' involvement with the election. His staff was like, whoa, we're used to lying for free. Whoa, this is great. 
Idaho is apparently one of the few states that was untargeted by the hackings. I guess they figured that all 12 people were going to vote Republican anyway. <laughs> no, no. I just find it interesting that even before the election, there were rumors of Russians hacking the polls. And you would think the fact that Russia, our biggest rival in the entire world, wanting Trump to be president, would have been a pretty big warning to the American population. I guess for Trump porters, the Cold War has, has melted away. Not from global warming, though. Not from global warming. No, that, not that. <laughs> When Trump was asked about the recent scandal in which he poorly comforted the spouses of deceased soldiers, he defended himself by saying that a lot of presidents didn't make calls. And to be fair, not a single president before 1876 made a single call to widows, not one of them. Not Washington, not Lincoln, Jefferson, not one. A lot of people are saying that Trump isn't environmentally friendly. He did pull us from the Paris Accords and he promoted the use of non-renewable resources. However, we think he made it abundantly clear that he is all about the Greens. There it is. Which I think proves that golf is not a sport, because I think we can all agree that if there's one thing our president is not, it's an athlete. All right, thank you for coming to Late Night.